The completed mold must be submerged in water. It has been submerged for two to three days. This is to create the separation between mold and the adobe. A dry mold will stick with the adobe and it's hard to separate. Set it down where you will continue to work. You cannot randomly place the molds to dry on the ground. Must place in a separate area and give it room to dry. Compress primarily from the sides. When there's adobe mixture without the straws, you can take it out to separate. And the areas that have too much straw can be separated to areas that have no straw. Kids can use their feet. The heels of your feet. Just make sure there are no adobe mud coming out from the sides of the mold. If the kids are going to use their feet, it is best to step on the mold to stabilize the mold. Once it's finished, smooth out the surface. In the middle, create the indentation. The depth of the holes will be no more than half the thumb. The last step is to check if there are overflowing adobe. It should be in flat, 
alignment with the mold. Once it's finished, voila. Once it's finished, submerge the mold inside the water. Keep the mold wet. After the first round, submerge it in water. Once it's cleaned from all sides, and there's no more adobe left. It is now ready for the second adobe brick. For kids, we use their feet. This can be done. She suggests no shoes at all. <laughs> this is a, this is not a best demonstration. You can take off your shoes for bare feet. And then you can continue to create these beautiful adobe bricks. If you will continue to make the adobe, make sure that the wood is submerged in water at all times for the next batch. Some implementations can be used to submerge the wood. Make sure all the mold are fully submerged. If you will not be using the mold, you can take it out of the water and make sure to dry it for the next use. Okay. Thank you. Oh